Gerard Kennedy, the MP for uh, Parkdale High Park. And uh, so, Gerard. Great. Thanks very much. First of all, thank you for being here. You're standing up not just for a handful of people, in my view. You're standing up for Canadian sensibilities. You know, the American Embassy isn't far away, but in some ways, this is only a little bit to do with the Americans. This is about how Canadians feel about a particular part of history, about a particular development, and how we are hospitable on our territory to people of conscience. Yeah. And we haven't been as directly tested as often on that score, but only a generation ago with the Vietnam War, Canadians made their preferences set uh, heard clearly uh, in terms of how they differed, respectfully, but on, on a pretty emphatic basis. And unfortunately, what we have a government, not just a more government today, we have a government that is not prepared to represent the majority of Canadian people on an ethical issue, on an issue that is defining in the sense of what do we stand for? And I, in a, in a communication with Minister Kenny, I said, you are not entitled, even as a Minister of the Crown, to substitute your personal opinion for the will of Parliament. And I want to remind you, there have been two motions now passed by a majority of the publicly elected representatives in Parliament that say, let them stay. That's right. Let war resistors, people of conscience in this, in this country, be allowed to become Canadians if they are otherwise eligible. And in fact, I'm bringing forward a private member's bill that I think gives accurate uh, reflection of how most Canadians feel, is to say that we would acknowledge a specific category and we would require the minister to acknowledge a category for a war like Iraq, where there is no UN sanction, where in fact there's a specific leave that has to be provided for at, at immigration hearings to make sure that people would have a place. It shouldn't be this hard. There shouldn't be as much anxiety for Kimberly and for the other folks who are affected. But I just want to let you know that anxiety would be much, much higher if they were contending with it on their own. And so to the resistors, but to the friends of the resistors particularly, I want to encourage you. You know, Canada is not, in some respects, working as well as it should. Uh, it should work better. We should have a debate in Parliament. We should be able to resolve something. We should have the government of the day that should concede that they don't represent what Canadians stand for, and they should go ahead and implement the will of Parliament if that Parliament is sitting. Uh, we haven't quite got that, but no one should despair at that. We can't afford to. There are real people at risk here. This is not just our principles. It's our principles being lived out through some people who have come a long way at great sacrifice to give expression to their principles. And uh, the ones that I've met would make wonderful Canadians. And I think what we're here is about is not just being against wrong-headed policies, but let's build a country with people like that, and let's remember we already did. Okay? Thanks very much. Well, thanks very much, uh, Gerard.